A woman has been stabbed to death in a frenzied attack inside a Walmart store, police say. The woman was shopping inside the Lake Elsinore branch on 29,000 block of Central Avenue at about 7 a.m. when she was stabbed in the aisle by a male suspect who has been arrested, according to the Riverside County Sheriff's Office. A witness inside the store said the woman was attacked with a knife. Authorities said medical teams attempted aid at the scene but she was declared dead at the scene. Walmart released a statement that said, We're heartbroken by what's happened at our Lake Elsinore store. The facility will remain closed as we work with police during their investigation. We offer our condolences and support to the family during this difficult time and will continue working with our associates, providing support as needed. In a separate incident at a Walmart earlier this year, a teenager who worked part-time at Walmart has been stabbed to death by a stranger in a seemingly random attack outside a store. Jason Jenkins, 18, was stabbed to death outside a Walmart supercenter located on Northridge Drive in Rockford, Illinois on Sunday evening. Timothy Carter, 28, a Rockford resident, grabbed a silver kitchen knife and a red hunting knife from inside the store before going on a dual-wielding rampage. At approximately 6.05 p.m., Carter reportedly walked up behind Jason, who was working at the store at the time of the incident, and stabbed him once in the back, according to the court documents. The Auburn High School was left screaming for help, while Carter allegedly uttered a racist comment, according to witnesses. Police responders arrived at the scene where the teen was suffering with the gruesome wound in his back, Rockford Police Department said. Jason was rushed to Javon B. Mercy Health Riverside, where he underwent emergency surgery. But at 7.48 p.m., less than two hours after police arrived on the scene, he died. Here, Carter was taken into custody and transported to the Winnebago County Jail and held without bond. He was arrested and has been charged with first-degree murder. Additional charges may be pending, police said in a statement. We're devastated to learn that one of our associates has died following a violent attack inside our Rockford, Illinois store, Walmart said in a statement on Monday. We offer our heartfelt condolences to his family and will continue providing our associates with the support they need.